Hi and welcome to another Type With Me video tutorial. In this video tutorial we will talk about pipes within Nest.js. Let's go! This is a video in a complete series of videos, right? So here we are going to talk about the pipe uh, indicator and why is that so important? Well, we can take a look into our cats.controllers.ts and there we have the body. But we cannot assure that uh, the create cat DTO is of type cat, right? So for that, we need to create a pipe where we can uh, do some validation on our uh, create cat DTO. So first of all, we're going to go to time point me folder, and then we're going to install certain packages. So we're going to install the happy joy package that will help us to validate um, within our pipe, right? So that's a great package. Another package that we're going to um, install is the add types happy joy because we are indeed using TypeScript and we want to have types, right? So that's a great thing to have, right? Great. We have it installed. So here we're going to add a new file. That's type.ts, right? And then we're going to add here our joy validation pipe. going to save this. So uh, our joy validation pipe implements pipe transform. It's uh, it's doing a joy.validate where we have our value and our this.schema to see if it validates the schema, right? And then we have our, when we have an error, we get a new bad request exception where we do the validation fields. So now we go to our cat controller, then we go here and we can use the use pipe. We add it to our imports. It's the same here. Import. Joy pipe validation. Services slash. And then we have cats dot pipe. Right. Good. And then, of course, we need to have something like create cat scheme so uh, you can create a create cat scheme and that's a joy.object.keys which has a name and that's of type string and it has minimum three characters and maximum 30. Uh, the same for breed and then we have an age and age can be between 0 and 15 for example for cat So in that schema, we can provide to our joy validation pipe where we have our create cat schema. Great. Another great thing that we can do is use class validator and a class transformer, right? So we just install the class validator, your TypeScript. So it makes sense to really use uh, the type system there. So we're going to extend it a little bit and we're going to use that. So we go to our cats interface DTO here and we're going to change that and we are going to create class create cat DTO where we have an is string um, decorator and is int decorator and an is string decorator where we have, where we have a read only name, a read only age and a read only greet. Right. Great. So now here we 
we can do get dot validation that's five that's the yes flag and then here we can just say using this code and what it does is we have here a validate from the class validator we have a plane to cross from our class transformer and so here we have our implement spike transform right where we have an async transform uh, method and here we will have if meta type or this dot to validate meta type return our value and here in our to validate you'll see that our meta type will be in uh, times dot include which is or can be a string, a boolean, a number, an array, or an object, right? And then here we have a plain to class where we have our meta type and our value, and then we can validate our object. Uh, class validator and class transformer works and plays well together because they are from the same author, right? So that's nice. So now we can go to our cats.controller and there we can just use our new validator, right? So that's very awesome. So here we can just say new validation type. We don't need schema. And then here what we need to do is change that to that and then we have here cats dot validation dot pipe right so we have imported it and then we can very easily use that and use the magic of our uh, object that's been created here and you can just validate that with the decorator annotations. So that's great. This was another episode of Pipe with me. Uh, we created pipes for validation in our nest.js application. You can do great things with it. Definitely check that out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. See you next time.